In the last chapter, we learned how to do break even for companies that produce and sell only one product. Most companies sell more than one product. So we have to bring in the idea of break even using the idea of sales mix. Now sales mix is that relative percentage in which a company sells its product. So if a company's unit sales are 80% printers and 20% computers, its sales mix is 80-20. And this is important because different products have different contribution margins. Companies can compute their break-even sales for the mix of two or more products by using a technique called the weighted average unit contribution margin. That is the weighted average of the contribution margin of all products weighted by the percentage of the sales mix. For example, Vargo sells camcorders and television sets. Because it sells two products in the following amounts, 150, uh, 1,500 camcorders, 500 TVs. Therefore, the sales mix, you add these two together, is 2,000, they sell in total. 75% camcorders, 15 divided by 2,000, and 25% TVs. So now in this example for Vargo, we have the sales mix, 75 camcorders, 25 TV. Now, we look at the selling price for camcorders is 500, the variable cost is three, therefore the contribution margin is 200. For television, they sell for more, 1,000. Their variable costs are 500 and contribution margin is 500. So you see these products have different contribution margins. The fixed cost is common to both products, both camcorders and TV. The fixed cost would be the building and the electricity and, and, and uh, senior management, things like that. So they're the same for both products. So we can't divide the fixed cost between these two products. We have to use the sales mix. Now that we have the sales mix, the next step is to determine the weighted average contribution margin. So to do that, we take the contribution margin for camcorders, which is 200, times the percentage, 0.75, the sales percent, plus the contribution margin for TV, which is 500, contribution margin per unit, times the percentage, 0.25. And the answer we get is a weighted average unit contribution margin of $275. Then we use this weighted average contribution margin to compute the break even. So we have 275 as a weighted average contribution margin. The fixed cost for 275,000. The weighted average contribution margin per unit is 275. Therefore, the break even point is 1,000 units. Now, that break even point is 1,000 units of both products. Okay, we need to sell a thousand units together, assuming the sales mix is the same. So therefore we break it down by the percentage of the sales mix. Thousand of units times 75%, I must sell 750 camcorders and 250 televisions. And just to prove that, if I sold 750 camcorders and I made a unit contribution of 200 on it, my total contribution would be 150,000. If I sold 250 televisions, the unit contribution margin 500, total is 125. Together, that's the total contribution margin based on the sale of these two products and the sales mix. And that equals my fixed cost. So that is my break even when total contribution margin equals Now, if we want to break even in sales dollars, do you remember how we do that? We need the contribution margin ratio or percentage. So if I have a company here, Kale Garden Supplies, it has indoor plant and outdoor plant. There's the total sales. So you can see the total sales is a million and they sell 200 indoor, 800 outdoor. So therefore, the percentage of sales mix is the first step. 
get the sales mix, 20% indoor, 80% outdoor. Now for the CMR, it's simply the contribution margin as a percentage of sales. And so therefore the contribution margin ratio for indoor plant is 80 divided by 200 or 40. And for the outdoor plant, it's 30. So on, on a combined base, it's 32, but we don't need that combined base. Okay, to calculate the break even then, first the weighted average contribution margin for the indoor plant, it was 0 0.40 times the sales mix of 20%. Contribution margin ratio for the outdoor was 0 0.30 times the sales mix of 80. So we get a weighted average contribution margin ratio of 0.32. Now second, calculate the break even point. 300,000 was the fixed cost. So I divide that by 0.32 and I have in sales dollars, I must produce $937,500 in sales revenue in order to break even. So with the break even sales of 937, the sales mix of 80, 20, I break that down. 20% of it is indoor. So 20% times 937 and 80% is outdoor. So if the sales mix is 50-50, the weighted average contribute changes to 35 result in a lower break.